This is called the Castle Rescue Book of Robin Hood. Yeah. Good night. No. I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Castle Rescue Book. Robin Hood whistled and he stirred a pot of soup. The hero was hidden deep in Sherwood Forest. His job had become very hard lately. Prince John and the sheriff were trying their best to capture him. Luckily, Robin Hood had good friends on his side. Little John, Friar Tuck, and Maid Marian were all helping him come up with plans to help the people of Nottingham. Don't burn the soup, Rob, Little John called as he and Maid Marian with wood for the fire. How do they make that was sink once, Robin Hood answered, handling out the soup to his friends. Robin was about to take a sip when Friar Tuck appeared. The first Friar was out of breath and looked very worried. Friar Tuck, is something wrong? asked Maid Marian. Skippy is missing. <laughs> Friar Tuck Hawk, waving his arms frantically, explained that Skippy, the young rabbit, had lost an arrow in Prince John's castle and gone looking for it. His friend Toby had been waiting a long time for him to come back, but Skippy had never returned. He must be lost in the castle, said concerned Maid Marian, or worse, Prince John has caught him. Robin Hood said, I have to rescue Skippy. The fox grabbed his bow and arrows and headed toward the castle. I'm coming with you, said Maid Marian. Robin Hood tried to tell her that it was too dangerous, but Marian wouldn't take no for an answer. I lived in the castle for a year, she said. I know better than anyone. I'm your best chance to find Skippy before Prince John lays his paws on him. Also know a secret passageway in the castle, she added with a sly grin. Little John in tow made Marion led Robin inside the castle. He snuck up and down winding halls, searching for Skippy at every turn. Just as they were about to turn another corner, Robin had pulled Maid Marion back. He could hear voices coming right for them. Quick, we have to turn around, Robin had said, but it was too late. There were voices coming along behind them, too. They were trapped. Luckily, Robin had an idea. He tied a rope to a notch in the window, and he tied another end to the arrow. He fired it into the window's castle on the opposite side. Robin gave the rope a good yank and then motioned for Maid Marian and Little John to follow him. Cautiously, they shuffled behind their friend. <laughs> Hurry! Robin Hood said, leading the way across the rope. He peeked into the window across from them. Everything looked quiet. Quick, through here, Robin Hood said, pointing to a nearby door. This room looks familiar, said Marion. But made Marion realize it was too late. Robin had already gone through the door right into Sir Hiss's study. Even worse, Sir Hiss was there. <laughs> made Marion pointed to the door to the other side of the room very slowly, and the group behind crept inside Sir Hiss. Luckily, Sir Hiss was in the middle of doing something very, very, very important, examining himself in the mirror. Sir Hiss. You've outdone yourself with this one, said the snake to himself as he tried on a new hat. Robin opened the door and motioned to his friends they were safe. Sir Hiss's room opened up into the courtyard. There, little John whispered, pointing to the courtyard. It was Skippy. The rabbit was hiding behind the well. Oh no, Mimarine pointing at the opposite side of the courtyard. It was Prince John. He was walking right to Skippy's hiding place. Robin looked for an escape route. They're running out of time. The heroes had to keep Prince John from seeing Skippy. Get Skippy out of the castle and meet you back at the forest, Robin told his friends. Before they could argue with him, the fox climbed the castle's roof and yelled down to Prince John. Looking for me, he called. You. Guard sees him, sees him, ordered Prince John, pointing at Robin angrily. 
The hero smirked back. Guards rushed outside and began to shoot arrows at him. He ducked behind a chimney, avoiding the arrows just in time. Prince John was so distracted, he didn't notice the little John had made Mary in the courtyard. The pair grabbed Skippy and rushed to the secret passageway. Seeing that his friends were safe, Robin leapt across the roofs away from Prince John. Always a pleasure, he called back over his shoulder. Prince John could only shake his fist in frustrations as his nemesis ran to safety. Back in the forest, the friends were reunited with Robin Hood, approached Skippy and handed him his missing arrow. Try not to lose us again, Skippy. Now, who would like some soup?